I'm Tim O'Neill, Kuriyama Marketing Manager. I have with me today Ken Moore, our Couplings Product Manager. Now that we know a little bit more about the general requirements of sanitary fittings, we're going to go into a little more detail about Kuriyama's offering. Sanitary fittings can pretty much be summed up with one word, the tri-clamp. The tri-clamp makes up about 90% of the sales of sanitary fittings. And what the tri-clamp consists of is a flat-faced flange that butts up against another flange with a gasket in the middle uh, to provide a tight seal. And what this gives you is a smooth transition uh, from fitting to fitting. Um, additionally, Kuriyama tri-clamp fittings are designed with what we call a fine point end, which means the barb going into the hose is less than three quarters of a millimeter. So there's a very small, uh, if any, lip. Uh, if it's uh, coupled onto a rubber hose, there's going to be no lip because it's going to compress uh, into the hose. On a plastic hose, you may have a small lip. So we have, uh, I believe, seven different types, Ken, is that correct? Yeah, seven different types of the tri-clamp fittings themselves. So we have the uh, crimp fitting, which has the uh, interlocking collar, and then uh, we have uh, two different barb fittings. And we have the long shanked uh, brewery hose fitting, and then we have some short shanks and these are both clamp fittings or or sleeves can be used with these they do not have the interlocking collars yep. yeah so and then they the some of these uh, smaller ones are popular with the uh, braided PVC hoses yeah the longer shanks are popular for uh, uh, applications such as breweries where you're gonna have a lot of heat and pressure and vibration where you need that extra long shank to keep it in the hose uh, the smaller ones are more popular with uh, vinyl tubing things like that lower pressure applications right then we have some other uh, adapter type parts. So we have a male thread and a female threaded adapter with the tri-clamp on MPT. the other. So we have those. We have uh, also short and long versions of the weld fittings like you mentioned before that also have the tri-clamp connection. So there's seven of those. And then, um, so if you're connecting that, like Tim was saying, you're gonna have, for instance, in this case, a hose or a hose fitting, a gasket, a, um, a weld end in this case, and then it connects with this, with this special clamp that's uh, tightened with your finger, and then eventually you can use a wrench to tighten it down so securely. That's name, so that's where the name tri-clamp comes from. Uh, you have the, uh, the fitting, or you have two fittings uh, and the clamp. So those are the three parts of the tri-clamp. Correct. So we've got those. And then uh, moving on from the tri-clamps, we have other fittings. Yeah, we have, uh, so tri-clamps are the majority uh, of the market, what you're going to see out there. Um, there are, we do offer three uh, additional types of sanitary fitting. Yeah, so we have, the, um, we have the bevel seat connection. We have both male and female versions of this. So uh, this, instead of being a gasket clamp type connection, this is a threaded connection. So it can be done either way. You can use it without a gasket and it will seal, but we also have a gasket for it um, that goes inside here like that, and then again, connected with a, a thread. So you've got the male, we've got male and female crimp versions of that, and also we have the, uh, the nut as a separate item as well, and a gasket for that. So unlike the tri-clamp where you have a, a flange on flange with a gasket to create the seal, uh, what you have on the bevel seat is you actually have a uh, a beveled angle, 45 degree angle, uh, where you have it, it's considered a metal on metal connection. So the other end butts up against that and the metal creates uh, the ceiling. Um, the gasket is available as Ken mentioned, um, but a lot of people it's sufficient just to have the metal on metal and they like the gasket um, or the, the nut because they can spin it. It's easier if they're unhooking it from a truck or a milk truck or something. Uh, if they're wearing gloves, it comes in handy. Um, and to tighten it down, uh, we do offer uh, wrenches for the bevel seat. Correct. We have a, yeah, the wrench is an accessory item. This goes on there. Obviously, we have one for every size of the nut. We have this version. It has a nice uh, soft grip, soft grip handle. handle. Mm -hmm. So, and we have another version that has a soft grip handle in the middle, and it has it's two sided, so it has two two different sizes. So we have two different versions. All right. And then next? Uh, the next uh, connection we've got is what we call an eye line connection. So it's a little bit heavier duty connection. Again, both male and female versions with interlocking collars, and it comes with its own special gasket, and uh, like so. And then again, similar to this, you put the clamp on there, and that's how it's connected too. 
So that's uh, also a clamp fitting. The I-Line does have its own type of clamp because it has a wider area for clamping. Right. Uh, there's more surface area, connection surface area on the I-Line that gives you a little stronger uh, connection. It's considered a heavier duty clamp for when you have higher heats and vibration. Um, not as common as the uh, tri-clamp, but also um, uh, very prevalent in the industry. Okay, and then the, the last version of the fittings that we offer of the crimp fittings would be a tube end connection where it connects to uh, tubing. So, oh, for instance, like like if this was a piece of tubing, then it would just you just weld it together. So that would be that connection. Yeah. So this is for if you want uh, different configurations of tubing coming off the end of your hose. Maybe you want the hose to come to a T or a Y or something like that, so you can have it connected to to, to various uh, other hoses or equipment. Um, what the weld on gives you is. Uh, capability to do that. You can weld on any configuration of sanitary tubing uh, that you want and have it coming off your hose. Then we also offer two versions of our crimp ferrules. So we have what they call a sanitary ferrule, which is heavy duty and, uh, and has uh, more inner gripping power in the inside. This is a standard crimp ferrule that you'd use on hoses. And um, once again, this is the most popular for the, the sanitary fittings, but we do offer this one and both fit our crimp fittings equally as well. So. so this is where product contact surfaces come into play. I mentioned previously that the uh, critical criteria is, is where the, the, the food is coming in contact with. Obviously there shouldn't be any food or, or materials coming in contact with the outside of the hose. So um, the ferrules generally do not meet the same requirements of the, uh, of the uh, 3A SSI uh, standards. However, some people do want to make sure that the outside of the hose stays as clean as possible, so sanitary ferrules give you that, uh, that complete seal. Um, a lot of people are not as concerned about the outside of the hose, uh, so for that regard, we made sure that our standard curry crimp stainless steel fittings, or ferrules, do meet and do work with our same sanitary fittings, so you can use them interchangeably um, if the sanitary ferrule is not required. Yeah, then we have a couple other accessory items that we offer. We've got the, the bumper, which helps protect it when, when it's on assembly in case, so it doesn't get damaged when it hits the ground or, or some other surface. So we've got that. And then we also have the what we call the riser, riser. so that it keeps it off the ground. So it would be so, so we can keep it off the ground and keep it from getting contaminated from dirt and, and you know, liquids. The riser is important because it helps uh, protect the hose, also makes it easier to drag, and an added feature of that is that it uh, helps keep it off the ground uh, so water does not pool alongside of the, uh, the hoses. And then one other thing we have is our special packaging that we have for all of our fitting items. As you can see, it's bubble wrapped and then shrink wrapped as well. So to keep these uh, surfaces from being damaged before you ever get to use them, that's, that's the idea. All curry on sanit sanitary fittings are individually uh, shrink and bubble wrapped. All right, well, we should probably talk a little more about the gaskets. Uh, Kuriyama offers a very wide range of sanitary gaskets. So Ken mentioned previously that we have different gaskets for the tri-clamp, uh, the eyeline, and the bevel seat. Um, but not only are there different types depending on the clamp, but there are many different types depending on the elastomer. So Kuriyama has an, a very wide range uh, of gasket elastomers, the most common being Buna Nitrile. Uh, that's the most economical one, the most widely used. Uh, we have that in the white and the black. Uh, probably the second most popular would be uh, the EPDM. That handles a little higher heat, um, a little higher uh, chemical resistance than the Buna, although it's not as good with the oils as the Buna is. Um, uh, next would be our FKM. That's just a good all-around uh, heavy-duty um, gasket, handles a little higher heat, handles the chemicals. Uh, after that would be the PTFE. Uh, which is even higher uh, heat resistance than that. And then finally, the silicone uh, would be the, the highest range of, of heat resistance. Um, we have a nice chart in the back of our, uh, yeah, our catalog here. You can see we list all the different types that we offer uh, with all the different um, uh, physical properties. Uh, we also have a, uh, screen versions uh, with different meshes and different tightnesses. You can come here and you can see uh, the opening depending on what particle size you want to filter. Uh, we offer a wide range of different uh, screened gaskets. And then one other thing of note with the gaskets is the coating. So a lot of these look similar, but they're coated 
uh, with different dot patterns. So for example, the EPDM gasket has three green dots to signify that it's EPDM. Uh, the Buna one has one red dot, uh, so you can tell them uh, the different gaskets apart even though they look very similar. So in addition, if you don't mind, yeah. um, we do have a very nice technical bulletin in the back of our catalog. You can see here, we detail the four different types of fittings, the tri-clamp, the eyeline, the bevel seat, and the weld-on. We go into a little bit more detail. If you have further questions, you can refer to that. Um, and then we do have information on our clamps. We offer three different types of clamps, single bolt, a double pin. The double pin allows for more uh, even compression. And then lastly, uh, I'm sorry, the double pin allows for more even compression. And then the double bolt is a, a higher pressure version. And uh, then lastly, as I mentioned, we do have information, a lot of information on the gaskets. Um, we do have uh, a carrying case that we offer uh, with a certain size order, a uh, small stocking order. Um, we can provide this to Kuriyama distributors to uh, take on sales calls. It's been very popular as well. And that wraps up our introduction to Kuriyama Sanitary Fittings. We hope you learned a little bit more about the line. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Ken. Thank you.